Hi, I'm Gil Hodges. And I'm Adina Hodges. We're the pastors of Kingdom Equipping Center in Sacramento, California. And we're excited to share with you about how you can be a part of the Ultimate Impact Movement. So what does it mean to have the Ultimate Impact? Each and every person has a purpose in the body. I mean, every single one of you are valuable to the body of Christ. In fact, the body of Christ will not operate at its ultimate impact if you're not taking your place because there's a piece missing. Uh, you know, I use the analogy that when I was in the military, I had a rifle and I had to put that thing together and take it apart and do that sometimes with, uh, you know, my eyes closed and all that. So, um, and, and there were so many pieces of that rifle and yet the smallest little piece was one of the most valuable pieces, and that was the firing pin. If that firing pin wasn't in my rifle, that weapon against my enemy was of no value because of that firing pin being missing. If you're missing from the body of Christ, you don't know how crippling that may be in order, of, you know, where God wants to have the ultimate impact in a region, in a church, you know, in some body of ministry, it won't happen because you're missing. So. Got to understand that this is all about helping you find your place in the body of Christ. Amen? Amen. So there's lots of other things out there, lots of training on identity and destiny. What makes this unique? All of creation, it groans. It's waiting for the arrival of the sons of God. Romans 8, 19 says, for the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the sons of God. So you are meant to be a son of God. You are meant to be a king. You're called to be a king and a priest. And we're gonna talk about how the two of those together, the king and the priest, being you, that there's a glory to glory operation that God has planned for you as a king and a priest. The things that he's going to do in you, he's gonna authorize you to take a higher level of authority in the kingdom and for the kingdom and representing the kingdom on earth. Now, wait a minute, I'm a woman. How does that fit in with <laughs> sons of God? Well, you know what? If the men can be brides of Christ, then the women can be kings and sons. <laughs> so it's really not gender exclusive. It's everybody who is a mature person, a mature Christian that God is looking for because he wants to basically help you understand that as he grows inside of you, because we are the temple of the living God, as the Holy Spirit grows and, and, and takes over more and more of, of us in the sense that we are willing to lay more and more down, then He will be releasing more and more power for us to operate and bring heaven to earth. And that's what we're looking for. That's what the, the earth is groaning for. It's like, please bring heaven to earth. And I'm waiting for you guys to get your acts together because He's waiting for you and me to become mature sons of God and kings with authority so that we can begin to bring heaven to earth. God's will on earth as it is in uh, as it is in heaven. So it all begins though with intimacy and that is part of being the bride Amen. of Christ and throughout Amen. this series we emphasize intimacy with God because that is where we learn how to operate in our superpowers that mm -hmm. God has given us. We learn how to rule and reign with him. And so another aspect of this is understanding that he has written a book about you. Psalm 139.16 says, Your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. Amen. God has an incredible plan for your life. And not just for you, but for every individual who has given their lives to the Lord Jesus Christ. And it's like a puzzle. We all fit together as That's one. Right. Right. And so our passion and our heart is for you to know deeply how much you are loved mm -hmm. and how you were created to uh, to fit within the puzzle to accomplish God's purposes. And see, there are so many other scriptures that we are going to share with you about how to discover what is in that book because when you can begin to read that book, when people are prophesying over you, they're reading from your book because God has already written out a destiny for you. And when we are walking in that, there is no way we can be any more fulfilled than when we're fulfilling the destiny that God has given us. And so we're gonna share with you how to do that, how to discover the book, how to begin reading it, and how to begin walking out your destiny that God has given you. So we're inviting you into this so that you can be part of this ultimate impact. In fact, we need people all over the world to be coming into this place of sons and kings so that we can begin changing the earth, bringing the will of God to the earth. And, and that's just a powerful thing. Amen. So you were created for impact. You may think right now, well, my part is so small, but believe me, as you come to know the treasure that God created you to be and the power that he placed on the inside, you're going to see the plan that God has for you. 
God created you for relationship and impact, both of those. Sometimes we get stuck on one or the other. We go, oh, it's just about me and God, we have a nice, nice lovely time. Or about, I gotta do this, do this, do this, and we get into striving. Right, but right. the two have that. to fit together. Mm -hmm. And so your greatest fulfillment comes when you step into your destiny and walk out the book he wrote for you. This is an opportunity for you to join with others on this exciting journey to have the ultimate impact as the body of Christ. And this is something that we do together. We have to do it together because we need one another to be encouraging one another to rise to these new levels of, uh, you know, we're gonna rise into new levels of depth in Jesus Christ. So that's just the way it works. It's the dichotomy that we see all over in scripture sometimes where, you know, you gotta be first or gotta be last to be first. And you know, so many different things where the economy of heaven is different. It's so much different than the way we think. But we know that we need each other in order to rise to that place where we are able to give up everything to have the Lord Jesus Christ fully engaged in us without us getting in the way so that he can operate through us to bring his will from heaven down to earth. So the spiritual realities that we're looking for are, are something that we want to make real on the earth. So learning how to activate heavenly realities into the earth is something that you'll learn in, this, in these uh, um, uh, courses and signs, wonders, miracles through intimacy and sonship. These are just the things that we are going to be teaching you in how to move forward and grow closer to Christ so that as you do so, you're gonna start cleaning up the gates of your spirit, you're gonna start cleaning up the gates of your soul and the gates of your body. They're gonna be purified by the blood of Jesus. You're gonna be walking in full power and authority and we will see the kingdom of God manifested on this earth through what we're calling ecclesia, which is family doing kingdom business. It's groups of people coming together who are mature sons and kings in the kingdom, and they are going to be working together to say, hey Father, what is it that you have that you want to bring to earth? And we're gonna be showing you how we operate in that in order to change the regions that we're in for the kingdom of God. And then learning to rule and reign as mature sons of God. That is where we're headed, and so we're excited to have you on board. We're excited to invite you in to be part of this community.